to Miss Carol's art class. We're going over some Adobe Photoshop basics, just combining two images using rotate tool, transform, photo filter, pen tool, mask layer, paintbrush, and some blending modes. So before we get started, I'm using this image here and this one. I already put a photo filter on this, but I'll show you how to do that. And this one I already rotated, which I just went up to image, image rotation, and I flipped it horizontally. So that was the original image, and I just flipped it horizontally because it'll work better going into the cityscape. Um, so in order to kind of make these clouds separate from the ocean, what I'm going to do is use the pen tool. Um, you might have to press and hold on it to get just the pen tool rather than the curvature pen tool. You can use some quick selection tools, magic wand, object selection tool. Those are really quick methods to select things and sometimes they work wonderful if you've got a strong contrast between two images. But this, the, the clouds are just too, um, there's not enough contrast, so it's not going to work here. What I'm going to use is the pen tool, and so I'm going to really quickly just kind of do that. I'm going to select all of the clouds and go back to my original anchor point so it makes a selection. I'm going to right click and click make a selection. I'm going to feather the radius by one pixel. I'm going to unclick the lock button on my layer and I'm going to click mask. So now that I have this mask, I'm going to go to my move tool up here. I'm going to click and hold it, drag it over to this window while I'm holding it down. And then once I have it over here, I'm going to let go of my mouse. Um, this isn't really how I wanted this to look, but I'm just going to use this for the purposes of the demo. And it, I mean, it will look pretty cool, but it's just not what I wanted. Um, okay, so this already has the mask layer that we just did. So what I'm going to do now that I have this here, and oh, good rule of thumb for the background, I'm going to duplicate layer just so I have an extra one on hand and I'm going to turn off the visibility. I'm actually going to move that one up. Can you move it down? I can't move it down. Okay. So now that I have this here and I already have the mask layer that we just put on it, I'm going to come over here to my brushes and I'm going to select a brush that is very soft and kind of big. So I'm going to make it bigger. The bigger it is, the easier it is for blending. Make sure that my mode for now is on normal and I'm going to kick up the opacity to like 80, 80%. Make sure um, that you have white and black here and that black is selected on top. And now I'm going to go in here and just start blending. I don't even like how that's blending. I'm going to turn it up even more than that to really blend this bottom layer here. So you can kind of see how that is blending, especially because we're using a soft brush. Um, oh, I didn't move my image all the way to the edge. That's not good. And then you can go in and you can lower the opacity to really blend it. And the more layers you do with lowering the opacity, the more it's going to look natural, especially if you go all the way down to like 30-ish percent. And you can kind of create this fog in your image, right? And you can change the blending mode so I can make it darker and I can just go in and kick up the opacity and make these clouds darker. Let's 
seems like it's making it lighter, actually. But you can play around with the blending modes and the opacity to get it the way that you wanted. The other thing I wanted to show you was um, if I go to my background, well, I can do all of it, that's fine. You can go to image, adjustments, and photo filter. You can also do this by layer, but I'm going to do the whole image. Do color, and you can select what color you want. I'm going to do a really dark blue, and kick up the density. So you see that darkened, I have my preview selected, and it darkened the entire image to kind of a dark blue. And like I said, you can do that by layer. If you are on a layer, you go over here to layer and new layer adjustment. You can do the same thing just specifically by layer. So you could have a blue background and orange clouds. It's just kind of up to you. So that's what I have for you right now, just really simply combining two images. All right, see you guys next time.